Hey everyone, just wanted to give you a quick reveal of the new plushie that I have just finally got. It is a test tube plushie. It is so unique and it's very amazing. Really love the design. It has been turning out that great. If you wanted to get your plushie, you better act fast because it'll be running out there very soon in between the test tube fan and also the talking me phone thing, especially the rug here too. Yeah, I'm watching on you. So act fast now. It's before the holidays. It's right around the corner. So don't miss that one out. It is very nice. It is really popularized too. Very amazing. So yep, get yours today. If you want it now, go get it. In the meantime, time for a reaction video. Let's take it from here, test tube. Sure thing. Let's roll. Hey guys, Son of Beast here, and welcome back to another reaction video of Infamous Swoosh. The last video I've definitely done was the Britney one. It's the Haminations that I definitely watched it after Black Friday deals. But as you can tell right now, this video that I'm about to do is right in between. Remember that I did the Chocolate Obsession for my last video? Well, in case you don't like it, here's the next thing from Infamous Swoosh. His thoughts of about weird childhood obsession. Now, I'm not saying I'm not too crazy about weird things that was happening to me back as a little ch child. Whatever this is. Well, huh? well, I guess I may be saying is my weird reaction to this one turned out to be my weird childhood obsession. And this is the thing that I want to know for. So, as you can tell, that I definitely really enjoyed one of each. And the TV show was Big Comfy Couch. Yeah, that's the only thing I definitely remembered it before. But the weird thing is the booba. What? What does that mean? Okay, I don't think I definitely remember that. Well, I can only say that it's commonly described as definitely one of the, everyone's kids' uh, idea to move your body around. Do some a little bit of fun dance and also doing a little bit of an exercise in between, but I can't just really tell that, especially with Teletubbies. Well, I don't know about that. Well, in that case, I definitely enjoyed watching the big comfy couch one, and it's a Canadian TV show. Yeah, I just know that. It's not made in the USA, so sorry. You're never going to win the whole thing. In the meantime, Stop jabbering around and let's get cracking. On now to Infamous Swoosh's Thoughts of Weird Chocolates. Let's roll. What are you doing, Mr. Swoosh? Are you trying to gel up like Greg Heffling? Oh my gosh, I think his lover just stopped, stepped in. I don't know what he's he, she thinking. Maybe she's trying to tell him not to do it, if he knows how to. Are you styling your hair like Greg Heffley? <laughs> no. You're lying. I'm seriously no that you're lying. So Didn't see that coming. If I was a weird kid, I don't think this is a surprise to anyone considering the last video. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to talk about that. Yeah, I know that. But here's the thing. If you watched it before... Check out my calling card info or my reaction. Or if you don't, don't click it. Anyway, back to it now. I'm the youngest kid in my family, and it's been said by the general public that the last kid- Youngest equals worst. Wow, what a real boring person you just hate, Bryson. Especially boo-hoo. I really do not like it when everybody is really disliking one of each. Who is the best? Like in between Infamous Swoosh, Brody from Brody Animates, and Haminations of Bryson. I'm more into a Bryson fan, but I'm more secondary favorite of Infamous Swoosh than third would be Brody Animates. Well, his video got something new, so I guess when I get to the next reaction, I'm going to react to this one after I finish my college essay. If I can get it there on time. You know, get it all down, you can. The family is the most spoiled. And they're probably right, but... Yeah, probably that. 
But because of this undying love for my parents, it caused my childhood to be a lot weirder than my siblings. When I was a kid, I had the biggest obsession with Die Ever Wimpy Kid, more than any other child in the history of forever. So much so that not only did one Christmas solely consist of me getting Die Ever Wimpy Kid related merchandise, but I would also get some hair gel and force my hair to do the Greg Heffley cowlick. Oh, so that's what you're doing. That you're trying to like match the characters like hair gel like Greg Heffling does. Okay, I just did not see. I thought you were just gonna make some a little weirdo hair gel or anything. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. But I want to be cool. Just with my hair. That's spiked up. Mohawk guy. Can't really tell how the driver is. Like it's a Mohawk warrior truck with the hair on top. Well, I can't really show what this is all about. I mean, Dude, the wackiest hair gel is like, sick. Don't judge me on that point. Luckily, I grew out of it. At a family birthday <laughs> party one year, I strutted around in full confidence with this fake cowlick, even though everyone around me in that Chuck E. Cheese knew I was a fraud. Dang, like it's a gangsta look with your glasses on. Oh, and there's Chucky the mascot. Even Chuck E. Cheese himself knew I was a big fat phony. At least he's real. Yeah, he's definitely totally real, wearing a mascot outfit. But for the robots, I mean, like, it's an animatronic, as I meant. But if you guys can't remember this, this is where I went to uh, back when I was a little kid. I used to went for here for my friend's birthday party here at Chuck E. Cheese. I mean, the pizza wasn't that great. I'm telling you, I just had a little bit dissatisfying with that result. And I can't just tell how good it is, just, just like in between the other uh, pizzas that were around us. I can't really tell which one is great. Well, I didn't really came back here because I just played as the arcade games. And that was the thing I definitely improved by more people getting more prizes with the tickets. And I have to tell you, I'm not returning to Chuck E. Cheese anymore because I finally grew out. So yeah, that's it. Now I can go to other arcades, the one on the boardwalk or in between the other arcade locations. Especially to the Silver Bowl Arcade Museum, the retro one. But as I mentioned it before, it, it, they don't have tickets in any way, so that doesn't include them. It's just more like a, having fun games and playing with your friends, too. Like yesterday's. Well, as I mentioned here before, this is what I wanted to do. Just enjoy it for my lifetime. Yeah, not the Freddy, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's at the pizza place. With some arcades, like it's a movie and a game too. Well, that did not happen. That was used to be a filming location that they already did. But hey, suit you yourself. If you watched it, you know I'm going to get seriously terrified of what's going to happen before I play that game. But please don't judge me, alright? Back to this now. It even got to the point where my brother would start pointing it out to me and I would literally deny that it was fake. Look, champ, don't be jealous because I'm the only one that can bring honor to the family name with an authentic Greg Heffley cowlick. Someone has to make mom and dad proud. I'm gonna shave your head. Oh, no, 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 no. You do not shave that head. Do not do that. Especially the last video that Brittany put the super glue on Bryson's hair. But his mother decided that she just shaved Bryson's hair. And he was really disappointed with that. He doesn't want to look like this. And don't do it on Bryson's hair to shave everything off. Don't do it on Nathan's either too. Especially you don't know how to do that. Like a barber. Clearly because of my natural cowlick from an early age, everyone already knew I was talented. But my earliest recognition of my natural talent was in kindergarten. Oh, that must have been when you started drawing, because that's your job now. Nah, even better. I could cross my eyes and people thought it was funny. Um, okay, I guess I couldn't do that. Well, yeah, I think most of the people would do that, but that's gonna give me cringe too, I guess. Yes, if that's the point. This is why you're single. <laughs> so funny, I've never heard that one before. <gasps> oh. <laughs> way to beat somebody up like that, Nathan. Oh, oh my gosh, I think I'm seeing stars. Like, from space? Oh no! That's also cringe too. What? This video was sponsored by Honkai Star Rail. Oh, not the sponsor! Be back after this. BRB. Whew. 
Do not go in there. Yeah, I meant to say is, please don't ever attempt to play games on a toilet. You've been in there for seven hours. Anyways, apparently when you're five years old, the funniest thing on the planet is seeing your friend cross his eyes. As soon as I realized I gained this power, I did it all the time when I was in kindergarten. Oh, you always did it down here in kindergarten. Well, I couldn't tell because if I saw one of the competitors who were doing a little bit of a strange eyes, I mean, they could definitely do that. But I don't think nobody would ever do that. Like it's cringe face in between of springy that used to be the one from the Inanimate Insanity and the other one of the BFDI with four. So, I don't think that's this is not going to happen like that. Especially two. And everyone thought I was hilarious. In fact, one day me and all my classmates were eating chicken patties for lunch. And while we were eating, I looked at my friend Thomas as he was drinking his chocolate milk. I knew in that moment I had to unleash my ultimate weapon. I looked at him dead in the eyes, then crossed them. Oh my gosh, that's kind of like a scary thing. But especially with that, it's kind of like a little funny with that point. Especially, I can't usually say what it is now, but like, eh, sorry, I'm just gonna have to stare at you. He thought it was so funny, he started laughing while eating, then threw up all over his food. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that is super gross. Throw it out now. Yeah, I don't want to take a risk of it. Yeah, I'm gonna puke again. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, you don't want to see me vomit out. Sorry. I was shocked. I never knew I had this much power. What are you doing? Man, I lost it. Oh, you lost it? What? Where did you lose? You lost one of them? Is there something else that you're going to tell me? Is there? I guess not. Yeah, kindergarten was a weird time. I remember one day I discovered how if I grab my neck and squeeze, my face could turn purple. Oh my goodness. If, if somebody would actually grab the neck up for me, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start gripping their hands off my neck. And you know, this is the happening thing what I want to do my self-defense, is to do the throat grab. I just really must tell you that this is a lot like a plucking from the neck and choking me so hard. And you know, this is a bad thing that you shouldn't be doing it like that. And you're telling them like, tell me, tell me, no. Well, not like Homer Simpson who wants to choke up Bart's neck, like doing this at all the time and say, why you little in the first place? Yeah, I don't want to see that harassment of what Homer Simpson would do. It's really not very nice when you most people really do not want to do this at all, all time. who are having a really rough day for some reason. But just don't do this at home, all right? I mean, I thought it was funny, but I got a note sent home and my mom didn't think so. Oh, yeah, she wouldn't like that either. What are you talking about? This is hilarious. Stop. Hey. Just please get rid of that choking thing. Enough. Hey, want to hear the scariest day of my life? Okay, uh, tell me what's your scariest thing in your life. When I was a wee young lad, the Johnny Depp, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie was all the rave. And I don't know if you've seen this movie, but- Actually, I have seen the movie right at this moment. I remembered it back then. I also used to watch Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Well, the first thing was VHS tape. And then secondly, now they have a DVD. And now this is definitely really the best thing to watch this. As of now, it is now stream which is now available on Max Stream, that you can definitely do at any time. I definitely have that one in the movies here too, so I basically want to go back to this, and I haven't watched in a while since 2007 or 8. But as you can tell right now, that this is almost the same thing, just like Willy Wonka in a Chocolate Factory. And yes, I definitely did see that one. And this is the one where she uh, blows up like into a giant blueberry one and i i definitely must tell you right now uh um, sorry swoosh if i took your line away but um i definitely did notice that it was all that happened when eating that gum and felt like i wouldn't be able to do that 
and she doesn't even care. So she stuck it up in the mouth, chopped it up here like it's like chewing anyway. And this is what definitely would happen. Tasting, what's the difference in between there? Well, that's the thing I just never realized. But here's the thing that gets really satisfying. You know, this is something that's happening. You're going to start freaking out. It turned into this. When she um, was thinking that uh, as the face color, it turning a little bit of change off in between. It used to like go like turn in blue, but I don't think it isn't. Your nose is getting all purple. Like it goes from nose first and then it starts going to sp like, spreading things out. And then all that thing is, it's like turning everywhere. Violet, you're turning violet. Yes, I know that it was the Q part of it that I know. But what's her name? I forgot. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. But anyway, going back from here, I'm going to start like freaking this one out. So swoosh, you got to promise that. There is a horrible scene where this girl eats gum that hasn't been tested yet and turns into a giant blueberry. Oh yeah, it is a giant blueberry. Especially not the gum. No, not this blueberry, the one from Inanime Insanity Invitational. The... The big one, like it's very huge. When I was six, this scene traumatized me. So much so that I had a horrible fear that if my tongue turned blue, I would in fact also turn into a blueberry. <laughs> oh my goodness, a bad feeling with that. That would have been a weird thing, just like me. Like it's a hot air balloon, or not, blue balloon, whatever you call that. One fateful day, I was at my church's camp with my lifelong friend James, and we were eating a bag of various candies. And one was a blue lollipop. I was hesitant, but I knew if I was very careful with this lollipop, my tongue wouldn't turn blue. Oh, so that's a good thing. If you start with looking at it right away. But that thing would have been changed radically different. Because if that lollipop touches the tongue, it will make a dye color out of it. So I can definitely tell it is definitely very different. Obviously, while enjoying this lollipop, I kept checking with James if my tongue was blue. So far, so good. But eventually, is my tongue blue yet? Oh yeah, your tongue is blue. Your tongue is blue. You're definitely completely different. Almost would have been like an alien there too. Oh no, I don't know what's gonna happen with that. <gasps> Dude. I ran to my parents' camper all the way down the road screaming at the top of my lungs. <laughs> I turned into a blueberry! <laughs> I turned into a blueberry! I turned into a blueberry! <laughs> oh man, it's like he's crying and suffering. It's like, I can't stop! I can't stop! <laughs> oh my gosh, I did it again. Dude, what's all with that funny, man? I just laughed because... He turned himself to a blueberry, and I start cracking up. <laughs> every time. Every time. Like the one time. Uh, I don't think that's not necessary to say that. Please don't try recreating us again. I'm serious. All right, then. I will stop. But anyway, let's get back into this. Turning! People were calling out my name to see if I needed help, but I ran past them screaming nonetheless. All I was thinking about was that at any given moment, I would explode into a fat blue freak. I burst into my camper, screaming to my mother that I was a goner, that she might as well set up my obituary now because- Whoa, 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 honey. That movie's fake. It's not real. Ha! Got him! You know that? That's a thing that does always happen with you. Never mess up with it like it's a real movie. It is definitely fake. It's just a makeup one. Don't be scared like you did in your childhood back then, like me. Oh, oh, thank God. So Johnny Depp isn't real either? No, he's real. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> A jump scare. Like Johnny pops out and then turns over to Swoosh. He gets freaked out. So that freaked me out. Luckily, I got over, yeah, of course. over my fear and now I eat all the blueberry candies I want. Take that, Johnny Depp. <laughs> oh my god he almost looked like oh no not like barney again if it would have been like purple i wouldn't say it is definitely real it would have been like just blueberry with the with the extendable green shirt oh my gosh 
That is seriously insane. I can't watch this when it blows up. Another thing I was obsessed with as a kid was the comic slash book series Big Nate. So much so that I wanted to be him. My birth name is Nathan, and everyone in my life calls me Nate, so by association I'm basically Big Nate. Oh, so you're trying to make the same thing, just like the Big Nate of this cartoon. Except it's a little bit different than yours. With the face. And I always will be. Marriage is what brings us together. Oh, it's a sad feeling. I'm sad that he's marrying. Especially he is fake, that too. Probably. Today, marriage is a beautiful thing. Do you, Nate, take this woman to be your wife? Actually, that's Big Nate to you, buddy. Seriously? I was such a big, big Nate fan as a kid that I would make my own books called Big Nathan. And my drawing style to this day is a little inspired by those old books. Then one day when I was 12, I stumbled upon the best idea I've ever had in my life. Ooh, so that's a good thing. So, oh, I may, may just say, like, you gotta concern with your ideas. Hmm. I wonder what that be. I was going to star in a Big Nate series on Disney Channel as Nate himself. Can, uh, can you tell I was a kid when I came up with this idea? I don't know if I come up with this idea, so I don't know if this is going to happen like that. So, uh, well, I guess you might have your own idea. Hmm? I had it all planned out. I was going to send a letter to the creator of Big Nate, Lincoln Purse, and pitch him my idea. I was so confident I told James that he could play Nate's best friend Francis on the show. I'd like to point out that we lived in rural New York and have literally no experience with acting. Clearly I didn't know how life worked. A few weeks later I got a letter in the mail from none other than Lincoln Purse. Lincoln Purse? Who on earth is Lincoln Purse? I was freaking out. This was it. My big moment. I was going to be a huge Disney star. Oh, you're thinking of a Disney star, huh? Like a Disney actor? Like a character actor. To act that when in the scene. Isn't that a great news to say that I want to be an actor too? Well, you gotta wait for a minute because I gotta hold on back after I finish up and doing my animation. And then thinking about maybe character actors do usually get paid. Just like the nephew said. I was literally going to become Big Nate. I opened it and... Dear Nathan, thanks so much for being a fan. Unfortunately, I have no plans to ever make a Big Nate show. But thanks so much for your idea. I was crushed. Lincoln destroyed my dreams of ever becoming a huge Disney star. Oh, dang. Well, I guess that was the biggest life failure. I mean, no offense. Well, I guess he tried it anyway, you know? Right? I guess so. But then I became a YouTuber, so it all worked out. Oh, that's a good thing you're still a YouTuber, though. Especially me, too. Thinking of an animator, too. And by the way, now there's a Big Nate show? So what's up, Lincoln? Forget about little old me? Whatever happened to never making one, huh? If you wanna make it up to me, I'll voice a character in your show. I, I need it, please. Okay, last story. This one's more recent, but I'm gonna consider this a child brain moment. Okay, so make your brain moment, then. When I was a chunky little pre-puberty 16 year old boy, I got a $40 Party City Spider-Man costume. And I thought I was the coolest guy ever in the world. Oh, so amazing that is a Spider-Man costume. Couldn't really tell that is. I wore that too. I was so confident, in fact, the day I put it on for the first time, I had the genius idea of walking to my local gas station, wearing the costume. Ugh, so are you gonna wear it like that? <laughs> Funk off. I put on the suit, sweatpants, my $20 Walmart shoes, and headed over. I looked ridiculous. A chunky Spider-Man with sweatpants on and full confidence walking to a gas station. I oh, so why? Why would you have to do that for? Oh my gosh, that would have been a like, hilarious thing. If somebody would have posted on TikTok and felt like that Spider-Man is doing a little bit of a dance in between the gas station, the store, the mall, the post office, or any part of the locations around each other, I mean, I would feel like, oh my god, I mean, why in the world would you have to do that? But, in the meantime, not on the BFDI island, of course, it would have been like, I'm safe now. Thanks so much. But as I mentioned it, but don't, don't get away with that. A few people drove by me and yelled, hey, Spider-Man, and my confidence was boosted even more. For some reason. Then I walked into my gas station and, sir, take off the mask. Sir, but I'm Spider-Man. Sir, take it off now. Take it off! So then I oh my gosh, please don't yell at me like that. Yelling hurts my ears. Oh my gosh. Please stop yelling at me. Stop yelling. Yelling hurts my ears. 
every time it happens like that, you know, the little kid hates it too. Dumb. I can't believe that guy thought I was gonna rob that place. I mean, I was dressed as Spider-Man. If I was gonna rob it, I'd dress up like Brody Animates. Oh, so there's Brody Animates one. I hope his next video will be the next one that I will get to react pretty soon. Hey. Anyways, that's merely a taste of how weird my childhood was. Maybe I'm just weird, I don't know. So, moral of the stories, turn into giant blueberries, rob gas stations, and cross your eyes to everyone you see. And nice fan art, by the way. And if they don't compulsively puke all over you from laughter, they're the weird one. Oh, God. I couldn't really tell what to imagine right now. So, wow. Yeah, that was pretty, like, okay to me. So, I guess that it was a good story. Amazing to tell. Not you. Yeah, not always me. Hey, guys. Long time no talk. Thank you for watching. If you want to get some new infamous swoosh merch for Christmas, make sure to check out the store. We have all new colors for the hoodies. Everything is almost sold out, so get it while you can. I have no idea how me and the team managed to get a full-length video out again two months after the last upload, but here we are. Make sure to check out everybody that helped on this video. We all worked extremely hard to get this video out for you guys, and I could not make these videos without them all. Let me know what your favorite story was in the comments. Thank you to Lincoln Purse and Jeff Kenny for making my childhood. Please don't actually rob gas stations, and have a Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Oh, thank you so much there. And yes, the holiday is getting very close, so um, I'll be showing the unboxing video of the Christmas uh, present showing the next one of the year. So, especially with that one, I guess that it turned out to be like, this one's very good too. Well, well faced there, buddy. But for my reaction to this, I'm giving this one a strong, decent amount of 7 out of 10 stars to give that one an okay fair deal. But it's not really, like, all right with me, but I was just saying that the weird stories come up with that. All right, you don't want that? All right, let's do this. I'll give you a 7.5 out of 10 stars. Is that fair? Yeah? No? Okay. Well, I guess that doesn't really happen like that. Well, especially to the sweatshirts that they haven't released out, so you should also get yours before they're gone. And I finally have the merchandise, which will be coming here very soon. So hopefully this will be my next Christmas present before the year of the Christmas year comes around. So with that one, I hope you really enjoyed it. Make sure to like this video. Don't forget to comment down below if you have any recommendations that you want me to do or have anything to say. And be sure to follow me on my social medias. I'm on X, Instagram, and TikTok. Link to my about page. And if you're new to this video, Please subscribe to my channel. We're going to have tons of more videos here in between of the famous swoosh, Bryson of Haminations, Brody Animates, and the best of all, the one and only thing, the NBA and NHL, with the gameplays right in between. And finally, the season finale of the Anatomy Insanity Invitational and object shows, especially that I've already have watched before and picking up do it again. All right, everybody. I'm guessing it's time for me to go right now. So I guess test two plushie is the one I haven't received. So yes, please go get it because they won't be lasting that long after the holidays. So peace out, everyone, for a while as the weird childhood on Infamous Swoosh Dial. This is Son of Beast, and I am the only one who wants to represent the guy as me. Thanks for watching, and peace out. Out of here! If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.